Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be talking about a Supreme collaboration done on the Nike Shocks Ride 2 in the white, gray, and red colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're going to be talking about some sneakers that Supreme has done a collaboration on, this time the Nike Shocks Ride 2. We'll go through the overview of this. I'm also going to talk about some of my pickups that I recently copped from Supreme as well. I know I haven't been doing weekly updates on lookbooks, but we're going to kind of compile some items together. So we'll start off with the overview, talk about some pieces I picked up in store, then jump into size and fit on these, followed by how I styled these. And then we'll conclude with how all of the pieces that I talked about in today's episode are doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. So the shocks i remember when these actually first released and it was kind of crazy they were something that i had never seen before it was in the early 2000s and uh this was just something that was so different i had to have it i had my first pair of shocks they were white black and pink i'll never forget them uh, but i'm happy to kind of go through a few decades to come back around into picking a pair of them up because i forgot honestly how these feel on foot but starting with the front of the toe box, we've got just nice, simple, white, crisp meshing and that nicely embroidered Nike swoosh in red. I did want to originally pick these up in that olive tone, but they were sold out, unfortunately. These did come in red as well as black, uh, but this was my second choice. So I was happy that these were still available in my size range. Uh, as we're working our way up, we do have white laces and that white meshing that works its way up to the middle portion of the tongue and then as we work our way to the top, we have some of this nice kind of suede leather and this heather gray color scheme. And then we've got Supreme, which is poking through there that you can kind of see through the laces. And as we work our way to the top, we have the Shocks logo in this little bubble here in red. If you're not feeling the white laces, they do give additional laces in this nice light heather gray tone, which I think also would go quite nicely. And this is also a different textured type of lace as well. This is a bit flatter than the ones that are currently laced already on the seeker. So let's take a look at those details and then move on to the side panels. So working our way to the side panels, we've got the Nike swoosh and that nice shiny white underneath a white meshing. As we work our way to the back of the heel, we've got nice heather gray hue tones and that uh, shock logo on the back of the heel there in the air bubble. And then on the bottom, that nicely embroidered Nike swoosh mark in red. Wrapping around to the other side, we've got the same pattern with the Nike swoosh and the suede. They're in that white and heather gray tone. The insoles have Supreme and the shock logo. 
logo on the inside in white and red. And the seeker is then completed with this really cool shock system on the back here with the Supreme logo printed four times on the back, which I think really stands out in this red tone. Uh, up against this nice heather gray tone. The sneaker is then completed with the air bubbles here in that front unit with Nike Air and the heather gray, and then just a nice gray and red color combo for the bottom of the outsole. All right, let's take a look at those last and final details. As far as the original OG shocks, this is just slightly updated. Uh, as far as it goes, these are pretty comfortable. If not, I'd say more comfortable than what I remember the shocks to be. All right, so now I want to talk about, oh, actually before I move on, I forgot to mention that this does come with a hang tag as well. Supreme and that shock logo on there. So if you are somebody who likes hang tags, you do have that option to hang this off of your eyelet system there. All right, so as far as items that I went for, I didn't go for the water guns. I'm kind of bummed about it, I'm not gonna lie. But I did go for the planter pot in the mini size, and I actually love this. The terracotta is really cool. It is kind of coming apart though. I will say that I'm finding little remnants of the pot all over my desk. Uh, so I will say that, uh, be careful, this is definitely a very delicate system that they've created, or pot that they've created because it is kind of chipping away slowly. So I feel like I have to be very careful with where I move it. And this was a previous week. Um, I got this online. This is the AirPod case, uh, but it's like a little kind of bag. Let me just open this, my goodness. I got this in the Jackard denim print and I hope this fits my other beef ear pods too but I think it might be a little too small this is so cute look how tiny this is so you got the supreme logo on the front there and it's all in denim and it's got that nice really cool jacquard pattern and then you have your strap here with your little tiny supreme logo there and it looks like this is an adjustable strap as well. So you can kind of wear this as a belt, I feel like, or you can wear this as a crossbody or, you know, just kind of hang on to it like this. But I don't know, I'm excited to have this. I'm gonna bring this with me actually on my trip tomorrow. So super stoked to have this little Supreme iPod carrier case. Hopefully it'll keep me from losing them. All right, so now let's talk about size and fit on these. So I am a true seven and a half in the shocks. I would say it's a true size on this one. I do have high arch, narrow feet. So depending on whether or not you have flat or wider feet, this could differentiate a size that may work best for you. All right, so now let's jump into styling. This is actually a really great colorway, I've realized, for the 4th of July. I didn't even think about it, but I feel like this may be the sneaker I should wear for 4th of July. A little red, white, and blue action. Uh, but anyways, I decided to really use some red color combinations throughout this for the first look obviously i felt like i definitely needed to wear my long sleeve bogo tee in red and white just because that is literally the perfect match for this i wore that with just a simple kind of silky red skirt and my supreme red and white socks of course because those go very complementary towards the color combination of the sneaker itself Oh, yeah, they go find another girl. 
And then for the second look, I decided to switch up a little bit with some more casual appeal to it with some simple white denim pants and a red t-shirt. dressed up a bit with a button down white dress or shirt dress and I think all white really just goes quite nicely with this color combination as well. So you let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how you saw these. So starting with the sneakers, these retailed at $180 and these are currently going between $240 to $300. Uh, the little case for your iPods here, uh, retail at $38 and is currently reselling for $60. And then this cute little mini planter pot here, which retailed at $48 is currently going for $80. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming up that they don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you all on the next episode. Switch before.